Wesley Snipes Wesley Trent Snipes is an American actor, film producer, and martial artist, who has starred in numerous films, including action thrillers and dramatic features. Snipes is known for playing the Marvel Comics character Blade in the Blade film trilogy, among various other high-profile roles. Snipes formed a production company, Amen Ra Films, in 1991 and a subsidiary, Black Dot Media, to develop projects for film and television. Snipes has been training in martial arts since age 12, earning a fifth Dan Black Belt in Shotokan Karate and second Dan Black Belt in Hapkido. In 2010, Snipes began serving a three-year prison sentence in McKean County, Pennsylvania for misdemeanor failure to file U.S. federal income tax returns. He was released from prison in 2013. Early Life and Education Snipes was born in Orlando, Florida on July 31, 1962, the son of Marion, a teacher's assistant, and Wesleya Snipes, an aircraft engineer. He grew up in the Bronx, New York City. He attended the Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing but moved back to Florida before he could graduate. After graduating from Jones High School in Orlando, Snipes returned to New York and attended the State University of New York at Purchase. Snipes also attended Southwest College in Los Angeles. Career Acting At the age of 23, Snipes was discovered by an agent while performing in a competition. He made his film debut in the 1986 Goldie Horn vehicle Wildcats. Later that year, he appeared on the TV show Miami Vice as a drug-dealing pimp in the episode Streetwise, first aired December 5, 1986. In 1987, he appeared as Michael Jackson's nemesis in the Martin Scorsese-directed music video Bad, and the feature film Streets of Gold. That same year, Snipes was also considered for the role of Geordie LaForge in the TV series Star Trek, The Next Generation, but the role eventually went to LeVar Burton. Snipes' performance in the music video Bad caught the eye of director Spike Lee. Snipes turned down a small role in Lee's Do the Right Thing for the larger part of Willie Mays Hayes in Major League, beginning a succession of box office hits for Snipes. Lee would later cast Snipes as the jazz saxophonist Shadow Henderson in Mo Better Blues and as the lead in the interracial romance drama Jungle Fever. He played the drug lord Nino Brown in New Jack City which was written specifically for him by Barry Michael Cooper. He also played a drug dealer in the 1994 film Sugar Hill. Snipes has played a number of roles in action films like Passenger 57, Demolition Man, with Sylvester Stallone, Money Train, The Fan, U.S. Marshals and Rising Sun, as well as comedies like White Men Can't Jump, and To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything. Julie Newmar where he played a drag queen. Snipes has appeared in dramas like The Water Dance and Disappearing Acts. In 1997, he won the Best Actor Volpe Cup at the Venice Film Festival for his performance in New Line Cinema's One Night Stand. In 1998, Snipes had his largest commercial success with Blade, which has grossed over $150 million worldwide. The film turned into a series. He also received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and an honorary doctorate from his alma mater, SUNY Purchase. In 2005, Snipes sued New Line Cinema, and David S. Gunner, director of Blade, Trinity, which Snipes also produced. He claimed that the studio did not pay his full salary, that he was intentionally cut out of casting decisions, and that his character's screen time was reduced in favor of co-stars Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Biel. The suit was later settled, but no details were released. His latest films are The Shooter, also known as The Contractor, filmed in Bulgaria and the UK, Gallo Walkers, released in 2012, and Game of Death. Snipes was originally slated to play one of the four leads in Spike Lee's 2008 war film Miracle at St. Anna but had to leave the film due to tax problems. His role eventually went to Derek Luke. Snipes made a comeback performance in Brooklyn's Finest as Kaz, a supporting character. 
He also had to turn down the part of Hail Caesar and the Expendables because he was not allowed to leave the United States without the court's approval. He is set to appear in the sequel The Expendables 3. Other Ventures In the late 1990s, Snipes and his brother started a security firm called the Royal Guard of Amen Ra, dedicated to providing VIPs with bodyguards trained in law enforcement and martial arts. Amen Ra is also the name of his film company. In 1996, the first film produced by Amen Ra was A Great and Mighty Walk, Dr. John Henry Clark. In 2000, the business was investigated for alleged ties to the United New Orbian Nation of Moors. It emerged that Snipes had spotted 200 acres, 0.81 kilometers to, of land near their Tamari compound in Putnam County, Georgia, intending to buy and use it for his business academy. Both Snipes' business and the groups used Egyptian motifs as their symbols. Ultimately, Snipes and his brother did not buy the land, instead establishing their company in Florida, Antigua, and Africa. In 2005, Snipes was in negotiations to fight Fear Factor host Joe Rogan. Personal Life Snipes began training in martial arts when he was 12 years old. He has a fifth degree black belt in Shotokan Karate and a second degree black belt in Hapkido. He has also trained in Capoeira under Mester Jelen Vieira and in a number of other disciplines, including Kung Fu at the USA Shaolin Temple and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. During his time in New York, Snipes was trained in fighting by his friend and mentor Brooke Ellis. Snipes has been married twice, first to April Snipes, with whom he has a son, Jelani S.R. Snipes, born in 1988. Jelani had a cameo role in Snipes' 1990 film Mo Better Blues. In 2003, Snipes married painter Naki Young Nikki Park, with whom he has four children, son Orkanet and Kihti Snipes. Daughter Isaac J. T. Snipes, born 2001, son Alafia Joe T. Snipes, born 2004, and son Eli Malamo T. Snipes, born 2007. Snipes spends considerable time in Park's home country of South Korea, which he calls his second home. Snipes, who was raised a Christian, converted to Islam in 1978, but left Islam in 1988. During a 1991 interview, Snipes said me more conscious of what African people have accomplished, of my self-worth, me some self-dignity. Snipes' apartment was destroyed by the collapse of the World Trade Center's Twin Towers during the September 11 attacks. He was on the West Coast at the time. Income Tax Conviction On October 12, 2006, Wesley Snipes, Eddie Ray Khan, and Douglas P. Rosal were charged with one count of conspiring to defraud the United States and one count of knowingly making or aiding and abetting the making of a false and fraudulent claim for payment against the United States. Snipes was also charged with six counts of willfully failing to file federal income tax returns by their filing dates. The conspiracy charge against Snipes included allegations that he filed a false amended return including a false tax refund claim of over four million U.S. dollars for the year 1996, and a false amended return, including a false tax refund claim of over 7.3 million U.S. dollars for the year 1997. The government alleged that Snipes attempted to obtain fraudulent tax refunds using a tax protester theory called the 861 argument, essentially, an argument that the domestic income of U.S. citizens and residents is not taxable. The government also charged that Snipes sent three worthless, fictitious bills of exchange for $14 million to the Internal Revenue Service IRS. The government also charged that Snipes failed to file tax returns for the years 1999 through 2004. Snipes responded to his indictment in a letter on December 4, 2006, declaring himself to be a non-resident alien of the United States. In reality, Snipes is a birthright U.S. citizen. Snipes said he was being made an example of and was unfairly targeted by prosecutors because of his fame in connection with the federal tax fraud investigation. On February 1, 2008, Snipes was acquitted on the felony count of conspiracy to defraud the government and on the felony count of filing a false claim with the government. 
He was, however, found guilty on three misdemeanor counts of failing to file federal income tax returns, and acquitted on three other failure to file charges. His co defendants, Douglas P. Rosal and Eddie Ray Kahn, were convicted on the conspiracy and false claim charges in connection with the income tax refund claims filed for Snipes. On April 24, 2008, Snipes was sentenced to three years in prison for willful failure to file federal income tax returns under 26 U.S.C. SS 7203. Khan was sentenced to 10 years in prison and Rosal was sentenced to four and a half years in prison. The United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit affirmed Snipes' convictions in a 35-page decision issued on July 16, 2010. Snipes reported to federal prison on December 9, 2010, to begin his three-year sentence, and was held at McKean Federal Correctional Institution, a federal prison in Pennsylvania. On June 6, 2011, the United States Supreme Court declined to hear Snipes' appeal. Snipes was released on April 2, 2013. Filmography Other Awards and nominations <laughs>